The name is Wayne. Everyone knows it and the folks around town know me as the Gopher. Except that French couple that keep calling me Wayne. You see, I'm a detective. A pretty darn good one at that. A Gopher, you might ask? Why would they know me as the Gopher? Well, let me tell you. You got a problem? You need to find out some information? What animal would you go to? A cat? It's too curious. A dog? Too trusty. Skunk? It's too stinky. And a squirrel? Well, it's just too plain nutty. But a gopher, yes. That thing can crawl under the dirt, snooping and searching while remaining undetected. So I guess that would make me a, an undetected. <laughs> well, as I was saying, since I had cleaned up the streets and got rid of the scum, my job had been dull lately. Even my daily routine became quite monotonous, in fact. You know, wake up, get dressed, first pants, then underwear, sit at this desk and talk to myself, well, like I'm doing right now, and I considered retirement until she walked in. It was like heaven sent an angel right to my doorway. I could not believe this. Love at first sight? Oh wow, but to marry someone just like her. Then she spoke. Wayne. She knew my name. How's this possible? Wayne. 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 Wayne! 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 Wayne. Oh. oh! Hi, honey! Wayne, I need you to come inside. Well, all right. You got dinner then? Dinner? Yeah, dinner. Uh, that's what I said. You just ate a box of cheese. its 15 minutes ago. Oh, you know I love them things. cheese its are good! I'm gonna need you to come inside. I need to talk to you about something. Well, won't you just tell me here? Can't you see I'm relaxing, honey? I think you're going to need to sit down for this one, Wayne. Oh, shucks. I was relaxing. Things around here are going to be getting different. I love you. You know that. Did you hear what I said? Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, times are changing. That's right. Always changing. Uh, you're, you're right about that. Well, that's kind of what I said. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll never change. Wayne, would you put that down, please? I'm trying to have an important conversation with you. Okay! Give me the cricket! Brace yourself, dear. 
You're gonna be a daddy. A what? A daddy, Wayne. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Sounds like for a second you said I was gonna be a daddy. <laughs> I did. I'm pregnant. Oh. Are you alright? Hi, Wayne. <laughs> what you doing? What in the tarnation are you down here, Earl? Well, I had to come as soon as I heard the news. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Big Daddy. <laughs> oh no, did you come alone? Nope. Mom came too. I mean, come on, Wayne. I mean, my sister is with child right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be an uncle! <laughs> Shh! Shh! Calm down, Earl! Oh, shh. I'm sorry. I know. I don't wanna like the baby. Wayne! Boy, get in here! Please don't make me go in there, Earl. <laughs> Wayne, you are so funny. <laughs> Had you ever thought about being a comedian? You even look funny. <laughs> Lord, please help me get through this. I'm Earl. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to the Lord. Well, surprise, surprise, if it ain't Sadie, I mean, Sandy. Joke all you may, Wayne, but it looks like you're in a pickle now. Huh. I am not in a pickle. He's not a pickle. Listen, how do you plan on supporting this unborn child? I don't know. The truth is, you have been jobless for a long time. You have no money. Mother, please. Yeah, mother, please. I wish you wouldn't come in here and get everyone all stirred up. Well, I'm just concerned about my little angel. Well, why don't you talk about something else anyway? Now, I don't want your little angel to go into labor. Oh, that's ridiculous. Well, I was a preemie, too. I was three months late, <laughs> and I turned out just fine. Now just simmer down now. You two are acting like a couple of possums in the hen house. Now, I'll figure out a way to raise that child. I bet you wish you knew somebody that was rich, huh, Wayne? I wish I knew somebody that's rich. <laughs> I wish I was rich. <laughs> I wish I had lots of money. Boy, I love money. I love beans. Well, that's it, Earl. Yep, that's it. Mm-hmm. Just eat some beans and forget all their troubles. And I got an idea, Earl. I want you to come with me. Okay. Right now? Okay. Oh, no. Here we go. Mother. What's up, Wayne? We going hunting? <laughs> well, I guess you could say that. But it's more like a secret mission, you know. Yes, sir. What is our duty, sir? Okay, about two years ago, my Uncle Ben passed away. Check. He makes rice. No, but he was the owner of the biggest sawmill factory in these parts. Ten foot! Now, when he passed away, he left me some money, but I'd, I'd worked for him most of my life. Roger that, sir. Well, I never checked in to see exactly how much it was he left me. So, why did he give you the money, Wayne? Doesn't he have kids of his own? Well, Earl, I'm not exactly sure. But I'd heard his son had left home about the age of 16, got involved in a life of crime. Yes. This sounds intense. So what next, Wayne? 
We're going into town, and we're going to make a trip to the bank. Uh-oh. It's Saturday. Guess we can't go to the bank. Guess we better go hunting, huh, Wayne? Nah, I know the banker. I think we'll just go to his house. He'll help us get that money. <laughs> I've never known anybody had $11 billion before. <laughs> now hold your horses, Earl. It may not be that much. So, how much do you think it is, Wayne? Three? Time's a waste, Earl. Let's jet. You got a jet? smarts. Oh. Well, I sure hope he can help us, Earl. Didn't you guys say Yunzes were friends? Well, sort of, Earl. But I only talked to him on the phone for a few times. Well, we had to do some paperwork stuff through the mail when my uncle died. Mmm. By phone, huh? Very secretive. I like it. Um, yes? Well, hi, little girl. How are you? Do you speak English? You speak English, little girl? How old are you? A, B, C, D, E, F, E. A dad, J, K, elemental pig. What's wrong with you guys? She can say words, Wayne. Yeah, I can talk. What do you want? Hi there, little girl. My name's Wayne. Is your daddy home? <laughs> Man, he's good with kids. <sighs> My dad's here. I'll get him. Thank you, little girl. How old do you think I am? Sixteen. Uh, four. How juvenile. Can I help you guys? Um, I'll have a Big Mac with fries, and, um, oh, yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, yes, sir, my name is Wayne. We've talked on the phone a few times. Yeah, my name is Wayne. And hello, my name is Earl, and we have never talked on the phone. Well, my name's Wayne, and my uncle died a while back. And you gave me money, remember? No, I never gave you any money. But I did give Wayne his money, and you definitely are not Wayne. Well, there's got to be a misunderstanding. Don't think so, guys. The Wayne whose uncle died, you know, the one who owned the sawmill? That Wayne came and got his money. Signed off on it about a month ago. Oh, well, I, I can't be. Wayne takes crazy pills. Sorry, guys. Can't help you. Sir, someone has stole my money. I am the Wayne. Come on in. I just don't see how you do it. Mom, I love him. I just wish he wasn't so goofy. No responsibility whatsoever. I wish you'd have married that Brad fella that I used to babysit in Springfield, Missouri. Oh, Mother, please don't bring this up again. Well, that Pitt family was a good group of people, and that Brad, I think, is some kind of actor in Hollywood now. Well, I think Wayne is much better looking. I think he looks like Burt Reynolds. Oh, he wishes. <laughs> I'm gonna be an aunt. You bet it is! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Come on in and have a seat! Well, hello, Debbie. 
Well, hey, girl, I'm just so excited about the little one on the way. How do you feel, girl? Oh, I feel all right. <laughs> I ain't even showing yet. So I guess I feel great. Truth be told, she's miserable. That brother of yours is done gone. As soon as he found out he was going to be a daddy, he took off with Earl hunting. Well, good. We didn't need them here anyhow, causing a ruckus. This is just girl time, just us ladies. Yeah, speaking of, where's Buddy? Well, he couldn't be here because he was giving some kind of big speech for the National Rifle Association. I think the president was going to be there. Oh, no. I know. Probably lots of confused people going to be there. I can see it now. We've been married for ten years now, and I still have no idea what he says. I just nod my head and go on my way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I know. Well, since we're all here, I guess this is a good time to do this. <gasps> I didn't know we were supposed to bring a gift. I didn't bring nothing. Well, I know that you and Wayne don't have any money, and that's why I'm giving you this. A ring? It was my great-grandmother's, and it's been passed down through the ages. And that's why I'm giving it to you in the time that you need it the most. Oh, does it have special powers? No, but I'll bet you can bring in a whole lot of money. You want me to sell it? I'll guarantee it's worth a quarter of a million. Mother, I am so happy. Thank you. I just want my grandbaby to grow up right and rich. Girls, this calls for a celebration. I agree. Now let's get to cooking. Well, girls, I'm just going to get some wear out of this before I get rid of it. Good thinking, girl. Let's go. So you're telling me that you are Wayne? That's right, sir. I wouldn't lie to you. Well, I believe you, but that other crafty fella got away with your money. Well, what'd he look like? The devil? Well, no. Uh, kind of odd fella, though. He, real fidgety-like. Uh, you know, I, I have seen him a few times elsewhere, it seems like. Horns? He had grayish hair, but he, but he looked kind of young. I found that a little weird. Oh, Bill Clinton. Yeah. How would this other... Wayne know about your money anyway. The only people who knew about it were the family. Daddy, that other weird guy keeps changing the channels to cartoons. Now, Earl, I told you to behave. If you can't share, I'm gonna make you stay out the truck. What up? What are you gonna do? You want a piece of this? No. Now, what'd you say about seeing him before? Yeah, I, uh, I can't remember. Give me a, give me a second to think. Think, like, think, think, like, think, think, like, think, 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 Sorry. I got it. He used to work at Frank's. Working at Frank's? Frank's store? You talking about Frank Marsh? Yeah, that was it. So now what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go find my money. Well, Frank Marshall owes me. Hit me with his truck once. Okay. Oh, that's a long story. Well, thanks, Baker Man. I certainly appreciate it. Let me get it new here. Uh, Earl! We got a skedaddle! You're my bestest friend, you know that? We should go hunting sometime. See you later. thing I've ever experienced. Yeah, me too. This looks so good, girl. Mother, could you say grace, please? Sure. Dear Lord, I pray that you give my daughter favor as she prepares to bring this child into the world. 
give Wayne common sense and let her get lots and lots of money for this ring. Oh, and bless the food. Amen. That was a lovely prayer, Mother. I know. I sure do hope this brings me lots of... my rang. Oh, no. You must have dropped it in the food while you were cooking. So where could it be? <laughs> Debbie, are you okay? Um, I think I just... No! No! How are we gonna get it now? Well... I guess we, we wait. No! Well, what do you know, Frank? Hey, guys. Long time no see. Good to see you guys. Uh, still recovering from that little truck incident? Uh, I sure feel terrible about that. Hey, Wayne, that's the guy from the FIBA. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, Frank. Say, you still got them mannequins to rescue from the wild? Uh, sure, yeah, still got them. Well, I help too. Oh yeah, I really appreciate all that help, Earl. What exactly do we owe this uh, pleasure? Did a guy used to work for you? A guy, yeah, what kind of guy? A guy that stole my money. Bill Clinton. Uh, no way, Bill Clinton never worked for me. Be quiet, Earl. I Frank did... Benjamin Smith's son ever worked for you? Yes, uh, yeah, he did. He did work for me. Uh, only worked a couple of weeks and uh, just quit showing up for work. I don't know what happened. Keep going. He was what you would call a wheeler dealer. He always had a deal cooking. Uh, kind of frustrated kind of young fella and uh, really upset at the whole world, I think. What did the world ever do to him? Probably because he and his dad never really connected, they didn't make up, it was just a very strained relationship, and I guess that's the reason. Hmm. So taking my money is like revenge. Uh, yeah. Sounds like it. Well, I wonder where he disappeared to. He had a cabin back in the Boston Mountains. He called that his, uh, hideaway. Well, I didn't even know he was magic. Well, you don't say. Well, I used to go ginseng digging out there in the Boston Mountains. Earl, let's go check it out. Yes. Yes. No, I'm not getting it. But it's your ring. But it's not my gag. Okay, I'll get it. Just give me a few seconds to pace myself. This is good. It's real. It tastes a little funny. It looks good. I'll take it. So, how much are you gonna give me for it? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred? No way. Mm -mm. No way. A thousand. A thousand? Why, that's a rip off. Five hundred. Take it or leave it. We take it. Sonia, that is not all we thought we could get out of it. Well, extreme situations call for extreme measures. I guess you're right. Some is better than none. I just want my grandbaby to be taken care of. <sighs> well, I guess $500 could be stretched a long way. Uh, I guess we're going to have to. Okay, $500 it is.
please stop and rest, Wayne? My cheeks are starting to get trapped. Just a little bit further. We ain't even seen nothing yet. Well, I don't think we will, Wayne. I mean, honestly. You want my legs to fall off? Fine. Well, just take a seat right over here. Thank you, Wayne. I love you. You're, You're pathetic. Friend. You're pathetic. <laughs> Wayne, I need to sneeze. <laughs> Earl, what on earth is wrong with you? <laughs> You're a midget, Wayne. <laughs> How did you become when? How? Well, what are you so small? <laughs> Quit being dumb, Earl. We need to keep a trucking. This ground is heavy. <laughs> I can't even reach it. Where is it? I don't see it. Wow. You've got a deep voice. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go, Tommy? <laughs> I'm lying. I know, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys! Well, good grief, Earl. It's about time you showed up. We've been playing for 15 minutes already. Bonus I die, Earl. Sorry, guys. I had to bring my sister with me, Sonia. Hi, guys. I like you. Get away from me, you creep. You're gross. Wow. I'm in love. Like we now the big one. Don't you boys know that you're in the wrong territory? <laughs> Boss ain't happy you two lollygaggers are out here. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, that's right, Bubba. We gonna teach them and let them learn them real good. What do you think we should do first? Skin them alive. Woo! -hoo! All right, Bubba. Who's going to get it first? Woohoo! Bubba, seriously, you are perpetuating the cliche. I'm sorry. Now, where were we? You were going to get him alive! <laughs> yeah. Chillanoove. Chillanoove. Bone a Ted. Chillanoove. I can't understand you. Solanid. Ten dot a new. Tolan to new. Gonsterello Catholo cannot. Man, you're going to speak more plainly than that. Bona till day. 
<laughs> I was in WWI one. Put in our sleeve, Hey, peace. Don't worry. I was the POW. <laughs> Oh, buddy, thank you. You're my hero. Tooty Dutton. Boy, buddy, you told them bad guys what to do and when to do it, didn't you? No, Tilly. No, Tilly. <laughs> no, Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, God, simmer down. I see him right over there. I know it's him. Guys, um, what are we gonna do? I don't know, but I think his money is in that suitcase I saw him carrying. <laughs> Boldinga swing a swappy. Ooh, I like that idea. That's a good uh, one. What do you say, Earl? <laughs> yeah, right. Look, I'm gonna tell you. You might steal his idea. Just tell me what he said. Uh, nope. <laughs> Buddy, you gotta tell me. My child's life depends on this. Wayne then a daddy? Yeah, Wayne's a daddy. He's pregnant. <laughs> he is. Buddy, you know what it's like having a young in of your own. You like to take him hunting, fishing, do all that male bonding stuff. And I, I want to do the same with my boy one day. So you got to concentrate. Um, I, um, I, um, I, I have an idea. Well, what is it? Tell me. This is going to take a while. Boy, how I wish Uncle Ben could be here now. What are you yelling? Earl, just play along here. Oh, how I wish to. Me too. Yeah, he just wanted his son to know that he's real proud of him and he loved him very much. Oh, how I love him so much too. Me too. I love him. Boy, how I wish I could tell him that right now. You just did tell him. Boy, I feel awful. Oh, don't feel so bad, friend. You can still make things right. I don't know how. You could never forgive me for stealing this money, could you? Well, I can forgive you. And I do forgive you. Because the good Lord said, if you don't forgive others, he won't forgive you. And God knows, I need plenty of forgiveness. Amen, brother. Pain in, pain in. <laughs> well, here's all your money, all five hundred thousand dollars. I think I swallowed my tooth. Also, here's this ring. I kind of cheated out of a young lady, but one thing you got to know. Kind of smells. Oh, wow. That smells so good. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, friend. And God bless you.
Guys, can we pretend this never happened? You betcha. Now get on out of here. All right, bye, guys. Yo guys, it's times like these that really make me want to sing. A one and a two and a, you give a nugget po hoodie. You give a nugget po bag, get things with me. You give a nugget we'll go down the crowd and ho. Honey, oh baby, be mine. Oh, what you gonna do with me? Lake run dry, honey. honey. Oh. <laughs> what you gonna do with Lake run dry, babe? What you gonna do? Mr. Wayne, this is your new baby, girl. Girl! Nurse Betty, get the pads. Stat. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get a laugh out of you. It just... But you'll never change. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that laugh at all. But you'll never change. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Brace yourself, dear. Brace yourself. <laughs> Brush your teeth. <laughs> and action. Nah. <laughs> nah. Ten four. <laughs> you got a jet. That wasn't even Earl. <laughs> I don't want your little angel. <laughs> I bet you you wish you would. would. How do you plan on supporting this of your <laughs> child? <laughs> Up in Missouri that I used to... <laughs> he looks like Bert Winnells. Bert Winnells. He took off with Wayne. Earl. Earl. Oh no! Does it look at him now? Do you take the crazy pill, though? <laughs> <laughs> that other crappy pill. <laughs> you gotta stop and put like that. You probably have me breathing through my nose. Well, hi, girl. Wait, I thought totally went blank. Well, he couldn't come because he had to get him. <laughs> Don't do that. Well, he couldn't be here because he was given some kind of <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Does it have special? <laughs> Does it have special? <laughs> 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 
guys. Can we pretend this never happened? Now you see that squirrel out there? You see it? I'm gonna shoot it. Alright, this is a gun. This is what we do. We kill things. Watch this. Got him. You see that? I killed that thing dead in the door now. Well, he didn't stand a chance. Hey, you want to shoot it? All right. Now, lucky, there's a squirrel right over there. I mean, I just aim this gun. There, grab that thing. All right. You didn't see a thing. Hey, why you don't leave me here? I'm laying here on the ground. I guess I'll just lay here and maybe hope that you come back. Uh, uh bye. Fire ants! No!